Um, other Ohio State news, though, here is something that was kind of shocking is Ryan Day saying that Caleb Downs has been – Joe, he didn't say that Caleb Downs is going to take some running back reps. Sometimes coaches just say that. They mean it. For whatever reason, they got to say it or feel obligated to mm-hmm. say it, and it never matriculizes that way. It never happens, and everybody forgets about it. Secondly, the problem is, though, he's in meetings – per Ryan Day, so it's a lot different. You're taking him out of the DB room. You're putting him into a running back room where you're going through those meetings. Joe, I'm not I'm not a thousand percent sold that he might not be right there, that he might get some carries. Yeah, the for a little context for folks at home that didn't play college football like you and I did, there's two different ways that meetings could be structured during the offseason, during spring ball. You'll maybe have position meetings, defensive meetings at later parts scattered throughout the day when you don't have practice, whatever it might be, because you're trying to accommodate class schedules. But once you get to in season and you get to camp, everybody is in position meetings typically at the same time. Everybody is in O or D meetings at the same time. You go to your designated position rooms, you go meet with your designated coaches, Mm -hmm. usually around the same time. There'd be a very rare occurrence. And I would doubt unless i'm misspeaking here that ohio state would structure their meetings so that he could attend both so you bring up two good you bring up another good point in addition to what i said earlier where one i don't love the idea of your most gifted player on defense taking hits at a position that is a very physical position where he's going to get tackled it's so much easier for wear and tear and i know he's not going to get a ton of carries but i am a little fearful of what can happen because we've seen plenty of guys have freak injuries at running back. And then the other side of this, he's already very natural at the position, but I I just would rather and feel more comfortable if he was in defensive meetings. I just don't get, it just feels very gimmicky. And I know you were trying to recruit him and this was part of it, but it just feels a little too gimmicky when you don't need another kid at running back. You know what I do? (laughs) Play one of the season. I would start him at running back and give him a carry and then not give him a carry the rest of the year. (laughs) All right. In all you serious, should, that would be funny. <laughs> in, in all seriousness, though, I I don't disagree with you. I, I think that Travis Hunter and look, I'm going to use a baseball reference here: Shohei Otani, Jack Caglione, who's in college now. Joe, I feel like it's just more acceptable for guys to do two things, right? Like I I think that we're to a place now where. Joe, we're seeing it. I mean, you legitimately have a guy that might be playing for a national title in a couple days for Florida, Jack Caglione, who's been a pitcher the last two years. He's been at first base. He's hit over 30 home runs. You see Travis Hunter in college at Colorado doing it. I, but, but I get what you're saying. He's my number one DB in the country. And I wonder, Joe, that if you give something to something else, meaning – you know, like the old business adage is, is if you're not 100% in, you're 100% out, right? Like you got to be all in on one position. You know, I, I thought that Nick Saban always gave a good quote about guys that wanted to go two ways. Be a master of one thing. Don't know a lot of things about a, a lot. Uh, don't know a lot about a lot of things. Has he mastered that position? No. Is he one of the best DBs? Yes. Joe, but I understand giving him a carry or two, okay? Like, see what happens. And look, you know what's going to happen? The first time he fumbles, he's going back on defense, and there's probably not going to be a word about it. So I don't want to overreact to any of this, but you recruited him by telling him that. And look, it might not ever happen. He might be playing mind games, meaning Ryan Day. I don't know. That's a good point. That's actually a very good point to bring that up. And the the context here in the quote. Who do they play week one? Do they play anybody big week one where he's got to be playing mind games? I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I'll pull up their football schedule. I but don't. Think- you do. You, you do bring up the good point though that it, it could they play Akron and then they play Western Michigan, then Marshall, then Michigan State, then Iowa, and then Oregon is their first tough. So game they go through they seven weeks of the season playing Patty Puffs, and we're worried yeah. about the Big Ten legitimately having a nine-game conference schedule when everybody in the SEC is playing a big-time power four opponent in week one. Okay, but let's not – let's. I'm no, just, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, okay. We're, we're just, I'm just isn't saying, the, 
this isn't the daily rant about the SEC schedule being being harder. To <laughs> to continue what we're talking about here, I agree with you. It is kind of better that that you would want a guy to be all in on one position. And when you get to the NFL, like Travis Hunter's not going to play two positions in the NFL. He's just not going to. It doesn't work in football. You can do it in baseball. We've found that it's more possible in baseball because there's a lot less preparation required to play two positions. And, and I don't even know if Jack Caglione, I think he's a lot like Travis Hunter talk, talking baseball-wise. I don't think he pitches at the next level. I mean, the dude's literally yeah. got a rack of ribs that are all his forearms. You know how big a rack of ribs are? I mean, that <laughs> dude, and, and he's got the the, the, the cuts in the, with the ribs and the bones too, man. I, I mean, to your point, I agree with you. But this all does come down to the most important part here. Travis Hunter plays multiple positions because they've got some stars, but a relatively thin roster that's being built. Travis Hunter gets to play both ways because he's close with Deion Dion Sanders. And, right. and they need him to. They need the spark. They need the plays. And he's able to. They've got two elite running backs. And they also have a four-star that they just brought in in James Peoples, who was the seventh rated quarterback on or not quarterback running back running on two four seven sports uh this past cycle. So they're fine at depth, man. I don't I don't think this is just you just don't need to do it. It's just not necessary. I don't think it's I don't think it's a depth thing. I, I, I really don't. I just think it's a sorry, not depth thing. It's not like he's going to bring you anything that either of those or three of those elite players couldn't bring you. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first deposit that is a 50 percent welcome bonus bet online where the game starts